Hi, this is Kelly from Optics Planet. I'm here with Kalani Laker and Jesse Tischhauser. We're doing some training today. Uh, I actually met Kalani last year in Oregon at the Crimson Trace Midnight 3-Gun Match. Uh, we're going to be back there again in a few weeks. Uh, Optics Planet is the uh, proud official retail sponsor of the 2014 Midnight 3-Gun Match. Kalani, what makes this match different from some of the other matches you shoot? 3-Gun already is very gear intensive. When you take away all the lights, it makes it even more gear intensive. You have to use lots of lights, lots of lasers on each weapon. We have auxiliary uh, hand lights, we use headlamps, chest lamps. It takes an already uh, difficult and fun and exciting sport and it just amps it up three times. Now for those of you who are unaware, the Crimson Trace Midnight 3-Gun actually takes place at night. Um, shooting doesn't start until the sun goes down and some of the nights it goes as late as 4, 4.30 in the yes. morning. So it's a, it's a long, grueling match. Um, Connie, what do you do as far as uh, altering your equipment for a match like this? Yeah, so I take my standard 3-Gun equipment, which I use for the Pro Tour and most of the major tournaments around the nation. I take those, I add uh, lights, lasers to both. Sometimes we're allowed to use uh, night vision, so I'll add some you know, night vision if, if you have it. Uh, it's a little difficult to train for because most of us can't train at night you know, with lights and lasers, so that's where the concept of dry fire really really comes to the forefront. And you got to, you know, at your home, make sure your weapons are unloaded, make sure there's no ammo in the room. And at that point, dim the lights, turn your lights on, turn your lasers on, see what kind of backsplash you might get off of, uh, you know, some of these lights we use nowadays are really high lumens. Um, and all the little small shadows that you never really worry about when you have a sun above your head. But when you have direct light coming from your body to a target, uh, you know, barricades or ports or doors or windows, they, all different, you know, lights and shadows and stuff. So it, it's, it's a very unique experience, but it's something that, that I think transfers over really well to the real world. Sure. Has your experience in this match um, led itself to make some changes in, in your everyday carry and things like that as far as lights and lasers are concerned? Absolutely. As a, as a student of the gun, I'm constantly trying to learn. I've now competed in three major uh, night three gun matches. Now put lights and lasers on all my pistols, anything that might have to do work. But one of the things I found um, that's very nice about a light or laser combo on your pistol is when I am manipulating a light in the house or a door handle, I still know where my, where my gun is pointing, um, which is very helpful, especially in a, you know, in, in, in a very highly stressful uh, situation. So. so this is going to be your third Crimson Trace Midnight 3 yes, gun, correct? Right. Yes. What have you learned the past two years that uh, you're transferring over to your training as you prepare for this match? Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's see, I've now competed in three major night matches. The last two I took third and first, respectively. Uh, very fortunate to have the, the, the kind of the help that I, that I do have um, in the sport. My biggest tip for somebody who's coming out to a night match is to don't skimp on lights. Get as many lights as possible as you can get. You, you think you might have enough, but trust me, you don't. Uh, me and my partner, Jesse, we run typically at least two light and laser combos on each weapon. So except for our pistol, we, we do run one, but we run a 600 lumen light on our, on our pistol. So use as much light as possible. Well, Optics Planet is very proud to be the uh, official retail sponsor of this year's Crimson Trace Midnight 3-Gun. Looking forward to see Kalani and Jesse out in the field. Uh, this is Kelly from Optics Planet. Thanks for watching. Thanks a lot, Kelly.